When considering websites that you're posting, you want to be careful about going to ones that are not scholarly. So blog posts and things really are not vetted. We don't know that the information that they're posting is reliable. Anyone can post a blog post. Now if you've got someone like Rick Wormelli or somebody who is really well known in the industry and they have a blog, you can kind of see how you can source their information, but even then it really is sketchy in terms of putting it on a research paper. So I would use that information to take notes and to gather keywords, but then again go find a more credible site. Now organizations that this is their job is that you find them credible like Edutopia, uh, National Geographic, PBS, uh, companies that are really respected in the industry, you can you can get away with citing their their stuff. That doesn't necessarily mean it's a good idea. When doing a research um, paper, you really want to stick to scholarly type works and limit the websites that you're referencing. So definitely do not do anything that's a wiki or an answer website, FAQs, nothing like that, uh, blogs. Again, if it's not really vetted by somebody and there's not a level of accountability, it really is not something that belongs in your paper.